let's start our six days of assembly process. These are the wooden parts we manufactured at our factory and installing materials as a kit including columns, rock wool isolations, isolated wall sections, doors, windows, stairs and wooden railings. This is all we need for the assembly and ready to be installed. We are starting with installation of concrete panels to metal foundation, then we install wooden ground frames. This stage is a little bit time consuming because we correct leveling errors at the metal foundation. To have a clean assembly, even small differences should be leveled. After the leveling down process, we start assembly of pillars and walls. These walls, which made of wooden planks and rock wool, cut it required dimensions for easy installation. So, they don't need any alteration on site. As you can see, we can install them in the blink of an eye. After the assembly of pillars and walls, we start joining A-frames on the ground installing joiner cases to them. These frames could weigh up to 300 pounds each made of solid wood. So it's very difficult part to our assembly to put them in their places by manpower only. But at this installation area we have no room for cranes. But thanks to our very experienced carpenters they installed them very smoothly. After the installation of front walls, we put the doors and windows at the front panel and ready to assemble the last day frame. Now we are installing the top beam which will be both calibrate spaces between frames and statically hold them together. We will also using this beam as a leveling between isolation and roof surface. This beam is around 150 pounds and we are installing 17 and a half feet high from the foundation. It's another hard part for the assembly. After the top beam installed, we move on the assembly of east plate at the front and rear. As you can see, A-frames are mostly roofs. We have about 900 feet squares roofed area to install. Highest points of the house is about 22 feet long from the ground, so some planks should need to fly. We are lucky to have experience at throwing and grabbing them. After the planks installed, we covered them with moisture barrier fabric which is essential for the woods to preserve their ability breathing while protecting them from possible leakage from roofing. Now it's time for installing rack wool panels. We use rack wool because it's not chemical and non-combustible. And we use metal roofing because it has high lifespan and low maintenance.
finish roofing by installing ridges and filling spaces between ridges and metal plates by polyurethane foams. Here are some wall installations inside for bathroom. We apply a layer of epoxy for wet areas. After the assembly of windows, we move on the part for deck and arbor. While we are focusing on the finishing the house, Fluffy the cat and his dog friend argues about ownership of the cabin. They seem to like it. We usually install lead lamps under the EU plates. We love them. What do you think? Isn't it looking great on A-frames? Reaching the final stage, let's have a quick tour of the house. Total area of 500 feet square, this tiny cabin includes a living room with open kitchen, bathroom and bedroom at loft. What's next to do is placing tiles on the ground electrical wirings, plumping and decorating bathroom which will be done by another firm around one day, this cabin could ready to be turnkey. We really hope you enjoyed our 6 days of assembly in this beautiful A-frame. Don't forget to subscribe our channel for more assembly of our cabins. And comment if you like or have any questions.